Hey guys, back today with another Wax Empties uh, video from May 9th to May 15th. I was not planning on filming for a couple of days, but I just realized I won't have much time to in the next couple of days, so I figured I'll just go ahead and get it done now. I'll start... I have Bath & Body Works candles that I finished, but I am saving those for a special video towards the end of the month. And uh, for my uh, May Wax Challenge, I'm going to save those and just go over those special. I did finish... Oh, you can't really see it. Well, okay, let me tilt it to the side. <laughs> I did finish a Village Candle. And it is Tropical Moments. And this one is Pineapple Lemon Zest... Oadwood wood and coconut. This candle burned flawlessly. Tiny little soot right there. That's it. Burned completely to the bottom. I really have good luck with Village Candle. I think that they're wonderful and for the price of $10 at Marshall's, you can't beat it. Um, this one was just basically like a nice pineapple um, and you did get a little bit of coconut but mainly pineapple to me. It was wonderful. Uh, wood Essence uh, by... I'm sorry, it is Wood Essence Afternoon Tea. This candle burned really well too. Just a little bit of residue, but that doesn't bother me. My mom actually gets these buy one get one free when she goes to our local supermarket. And I really like the way these sound when they're burning. They're one of like the, the crackling wicks. And this one was actually really good. It burned well. It was really light though, but I would buy it again just because when I could smell it, I did like enjoy the scent. Sorry. <clears throat> Next one is actually um, a, sorry, a vendor that is local to me. Um, her company is Gypsy Fire. This one is Apple a Day, and hers is also the Woodwick. Her candles smell so good. She also makes wax melts. She, um, at the moment, sells locally. She is not selling on... She is trying to sell on Etsy eventually, but she is just trying to start locally, and then she's eventually going to go online. Her candles last for a while. I'd say a good 20 to 30 hours at least. For how small they are, they last quite a while. Um, I love the logo. I think it's so cute, so indie. I really enjoyed this scent, and I'm glad I have backup candle of it and wax melts. So, now for, like, not such a positive review. I only have two wax melts that disgusted me. Crumb Bucks Bold, Rest, Bold Roast is from Crumble Company. Even if I did still buy from this company, I would never buy this scent again. I received this about a year ago. And upon smelling it on cold sniff, I was like, oh my god, this smells like chicken. Like, I smelled chicken. And a girl that I was with that actually smelled it too said she smelled chicken too. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put this away and not worry about it. So eventually I tried it and it just disgusted me. I couldn't finish it. It's going in the garbage. It's done. It has a funky odor and it smells nothing like coffee to me. Um, and then the last one that had a really, that I really wasn't a fan of was L3 Waxy Wonders Chamomile Tea. I don't know what it was about this scent. Um, I tried it with one cube one time and then tried it with two and again and it just left this weird smell in my house. I have other wax that I've tried from her that I really enjoy. This is just one that I would not repurchase. It is not my cup of tea. I finished a... Let me fold this over. I finished a bakery bag of cinnamon bread pudding and candy apples from Savannah Blue. A nice little bakery bag. This was so good. You could smell the um, the bread and the apple. It mixes so well together. I love that scent, and I would definitely repurchase. Um, let's do scent shot cups. I currently have this one in my warmer right now. It's Obsessed with Wax Relaxation. 
um, citrus fruit pear spa type kiwi fringe vanilla and a touch of spearmint. I'm going to be honest with you, you can smell every single one of those scents when it's melting. I have tried several scents from this vendor and I really enjoy all of them and they're all super strong. This is just not one of my top favorites, but um, I do recommend if you like spa type scents, this will be right up your alley. Tea and Cakes Pistachio Raspberry Macaron from L3. This is one of the ones that I do enjoy, and I'm really happy that I had the opportunity. I think I had three of these. They were all lovely, and I really love them. You get the, like, cakey note with mainly raspberry and the pistachio in the background. That was a lovely one, and I wish I had more. This one um, is Toasted Marshmallow from Up North Creations. It's just your basic marshmallow scent that I think I mixed half with um, tea and cakes, pistachio, raspberry, macaron, just to kind of give it like a little ooey gooey marshmallow scent. And as I said, here's another one. I finished another one of these also. Highly recommend that one. Um, I finished Little Tokyo from the Scented Squirrel, white tea, lychee fruit, plum, and brown sugar. This was a really... Oh, like an elegant tea scent. It was beautiful. You got a good mix of everything, especially the tea with the fruit. It was really good. Recommend. Um, I did let sit on this for a little bit just because when I first got it, it was light. But when I melted it for a lax challenge on Instagram, it ended up being really, really good. Uh, Destination Wax Lavender Pink Sugar. Oh my god. This scent is so good. It lasted a solid probably at least 10 to 12 hours strong. Um, I melted this all day yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Highly recommend if you like lavender. It's like, it's like a herbally kind of, but it's also like a subtle lavender with the beautiful pink sugar. I highly recommend that one. Um, this one was gifted to me by Bama Loves Wax when I went to go visit her in Alabama, I melted blueberry wine by Soy Teeny Candles, blueberries, red wine, Merlot, and strawberry jam. I basically just get the uh, blueberries strongly on this. Um, I didn't really smell much of the red wine, Merlot, or strawberry jam. It just smelled like a blueberry scent to me. I didn't hate it, so I, I would consider buying it again. Melted Berry Cherry Lemonade. This scent is so good. I love this. It's such like a like a hot day and you don't feel like melting or um, burning a candle and you just want to melt some wax that cools you down. I don't know. Wax can't cool you down, but um, it is just a nice, like, yummy, fruity lemonade scent that I highly recommend for, like, summertime even springtime, this scent is beautiful. I'm glad I have backups of that. Watermelon Apricots is a scent I met melted for a wax challenge on Instagram. This was a like um, a mouthwatering, juicy watermelon scent with you did get a slight bit of like apricots and it kind of smells like um, bubble gum, like um, not like minty, sorry, not like a minty bubble gum, but like a the Bubblicious bubble gums. Oh, so good. So, so good. Yugo Glen Coco. Cranberry, raspberry, and pineapple. And this is from her Mean Girl sampler. This one was strong on the raspberry pineapple. I haven't really smelled uh, cranberry by itself in a wax before, so I can't really say too much about that. But this was really, really crisp and refreshing raspberry pineapple scent. Um... Sorry about that. So next I have clamshells and then I'll be all done. I have Paradise Punch Scentsy Type from Designer Wax. Um, I didn't have the scent notes from Designer Wax, so I looked up on Scentsy. This is Wild Indian Orange, Sunny Lemon Juice, and Acai Berries Starfruit. This scent was strong. Um, I got the Acai Berry, the orange... And it was super, super good. I highly recommend that one also. I have Butterbeer from Hayden Rowe. 
Um, this is back from when she actually made her clamshells. Um, this was just a cinnamon butterscotch type scent. It was kind of frustrating a little bit, won't lie to you guys. Trying to get this wax out, it would not come out. It was like super stuck to it. So I just kind of got frustrated and was like, well, forget it, you know, whatever. Um, let me get the little scent bags. Orange cream bubble gum, minty orange. Love it. I have more of it and I highly recommend it. Um, I finished up Day Trip, which is lavender, uh, herbal lavender, coconut cream pie, and marshmallow fluff. This one was a perfect balance of herbal lavender and the coconut cream. Love that one. Take Me to the Coast was uh, Salty Sea Air. And it's like a masculine kind of like, not, I don't want to say deodorant type scent, but like what I imagine like a man cleaning himself with, like um, body wash. It smells absolutely wonderful. Let me get this back up there. Uh, finished Vampire Diaries. This one, strawberry, raspberries, blackberries, and sweet cake bites. It was super good. A good mix of the strawberry and raspberry. With like the subtle bakery note from the uh, sweet cake bites. Very good. Closing Time, which is a uh, peach... Wait. Oh, it's peach... Uh, peaches and cream and white cake bites. It's a nice peach, like a juicy, it's not like a juicy peach, it's like a bakery peach. I like this one, but I think this is the only, the last scent I, um, the last form of wax I have in this. It's good, but I don't believe she makes this one anymore. Thin Mints from Hayden Rowe. This one was a different story. It came out really easy, but it did discolor, which is, it's normal. Sometimes it happens with older wax. Um, I did love this scent. Um, my fiance, when he would come home, he's like, oh, it smells like you're baking fresh brownies. And I was like, brownies kind of sound good. This actually makes you want to like crave brownies. But then like when you're standing right next to it, you get the minty note, but it does smell like brownies and it smells super, super good. Uh, the throw on this was really strong, too. Um, Perfectly Peachy from Barrett's Wax, wax Craft. Um, my friend Mamela's Wax, I think, reviewed this, too, in her empties. This is just, like, a creamy peach that, um, I forgot what she said. Oh, like, the peach rings. That's exactly what it smells like. If you like peach scents, give this one a try. The Bathing Garden... Blackberry Jam and Lemon Curd. This scent was super, super wonderful. Um, it was, this has been sitting, I think, for almost a year, though. Um, I have heard some of her wax sometimes re requires a longer cure time. So I did do that, and I'm glad I did, because I think it got stronger with age, that's for sure. It was strong on the lemon, which I don't mind. I've been really into lemon scents lately. But then, like... You would randomly get that tart, sweet blackberry scent. It was wonderful, and I'm kind of sad to see this one go. I wish I had more of it. And last but not least, I'm also sad to see this one go. This is probably one of my favorites from the Empties, and it's from Sensational's Hello Sunshine Bright Citrus Zest. Oh, you get every... It's just... I tried to find the scent notes for you guys, but I could not find it. It is what I picture, like, oh, um, I don't know how to explain this. If you like citrus, I'll make it easy. If you like citr citrus scents, um, and you have a Walmart near you, I think they still have this. I'm not sure. This one was gifted to me from my friend Bama Loves Wax. Um, 
I really am not 100% sure if they still have this, but if they do or they have it repackaged or something, highly recommend you guys try this. It smells so good. I wish I had more, but I'm really fortunate enough that I've got to try it, so that's exciting. Little side note, guys. Um, just want to show you guys this. Um, I know this is a wax melt um, and wax empties, but I just wanted to share. I am melting the new pistachio ice cream scent from Bath and Body Works. Look at this packaging. Flippin' gorgeous. This scent has been going for, I think, about like three or four hours. And it is throwing like a beast. It is going from my bedroom, which is in the back of the house, all the way to the front of the house in the living room. It is easily a 15 out of 10 throw. It smells so good. It's creamy, pistachio. It's just amazing. If you like pistachio scents, I highly recommend that you guys give this one a try when they have their next candle sale. It's just gorgeous and it's burning perfectly. I can actually show you guys how well the candle is burning. I mean, just look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love when candles burn flawlessly like this. It, it makes me very happy. And the packaging is just amazing. I'm so excited. I'm glad I have backups of this. But anyways, just wanted to share that as a side note, guys. I hope you're having an awesome day. And leave any comments down below if you want any um, like more detailed about the scents and whatnot. All right? All right, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. See you later.